WTFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up one, NASDAQ up 21, S&Ps up four. We did have the S&Ps as well as the NASDAQ go to new highs, folks. Dow just missed it, and the small caps uh, weak big time. They're not even close to it. Gold contract, gold contract at $2.20 trading at $14.59. We get over to that contract and take a look at it. What you're going to see inside the gold contract, we got down to a price point today of $14.46. It rejected that lower price, ended up at $14.59. Uh, bottom line, right back, it came right into the breakout area from the 1st as well as the 5th of August, folks. Dramatically lighter volume, telling me it wants higher price. If we go to go to the GDX and you take a look at the equities inside the gold sector, same type of setup. In fact, the uh, the way that the GDX is trading is saying that the equities are going to basically lead the gold contract once again. What we did with the GDX is this: you did 42 million shares. The 42 million was going to 84 million. A rejected lower price. It's already stuck its head up. You can already make the case that the GDX wants to run to 28.16. And right now, you're only at $26.59. Bonds, notes and bonds, bottom line, it looks like notes and bonds, you know, are going to be in harmony with the metal market. The harmony I'm talking about is that the note market as well as the bond market came down today, tested the lows of last Wednesday, which was the big volume day, rejected the lows, went into the green just slightly, but guess what? Bottom line, once you get a rejection of lower price, now we'll see whether it can get another sign of strength. What is a sign of strength, folks? What you'd be looking for inside the note and bond market is now wide price spread, accelerated volume to the top side. What does that do? If that's what you get, that brings the probability much higher that we just got into another low inside. We just made another low inside the note and bond market, and they once again want to go top side inside the market. The... King Dollar, King Dollar is still battling it out. Bottom line, not much movement out here today inside King Dollar. You have 145 ticks. We've been in the same place for three days in a row. You're coming into ice in King Dollar, which is the, you know, we came off the highs of uh, 99. You get down into the uh, level of 97, right at the 99 uh, area. This is where ice is, where it does have a lot of resistance. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come join us here tomorrow morning. Nine o'clock, Larry Pesavento, great show. Have a great one, folks. TFNN has put together the best.